It's a physical game. Oh, oh, a monster jam by Blake Griffin. The fans can hardly believe what they just saw. And a poor pass by Sims. Blake Griffin. Hello. Yes, and a foul. And this is a runaway train right here. Seems like Blake Griffin is going to go number one. How does he fit in with the Clippers? I think he fits in very well because you come in, you're the number one pick. You don't have all of the expectations of a player that has an average 20 points and get 10, 10 rebounds on a nightly basis. The Los Angeles Clippers select Blake Griffin. Pops kisses a lot of love around. As expected, Blake Griffin, the all galaxy, all everything forward from the University of Oklahoma goes number one. Griffin with the defense. I mean, how could anyone live up to that? Tucker. Oh, wow! A monster jam by Griffin on the feed from Telfair. They're at the other end, cherry picking, though. Griffin's rookie year looked very promising. He averaged 13 points and 8 rebounds during the preseason. His projected return was to be around the 20th of January, but after visiting a doctor due to continued soreness, the Clippers announced Griffin had been shut down for the season. This is the debut for the Clippers. The Blazers won. And on cue, Griffin with his first NBA basket on the lawn. You gotta love it. This is what you get with this young man. Taken away by Jones. Punched ahead for Griffin. He'll drive. Here's the back. He's got a slam dunk. His most amazing dunk of the night. Jalen Arden, the worry is yet. Bye bye. Two minutes to go in the game. Clippers by only three. Griffin. The sweeping right handed hook shot. A new career high. A new franchise record for a rookie. He took off in the bottom half of the circle. You know what? I hate to say this. That wasn't the greatest dunk. But the presentation was pretty fun. Around the Griffin screen. Pick roll. Slam dunk! Oh, me, oh, my. What a play. He stopped about three feet short of the rim and just threw it down. Chris Paul will maximize the skill set of Blake Griffin. Yeah. Look out below, because yeah. they are coming down at you no with doubt. that stuff. They're going to be showtime. Yeah. They will be. They're going to be a lot of high-flying dunks yeah. and, and mid-court alley-oops. Boy left wide open. Griffin! Oh, wow! Incredible rebound put back. For the screen, two-man game. Blake Griffin explodes on Gasol. Just detonates over the top. Blake Griffin has been overhyped. Sensationally athletic leaper than a great basketball player. Not a great defender, not much of a shot blocker, a lousy free throw shooter. Gets it into Williams, has to get in the way, he's surrounded. Good luck, it is all over. The San Antonio Spurs defeating the Los Angeles Clippers, Waterboro 2 to 99. We can play with anybody. I would never say that, that you know, we couldn't we couldn't beat a team, I, and I really believe that. I think that with our talent and our depth, we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with whoever it is. Um, I think we have the experience as well. Pocket picked. Back the other way come the Clippers. Crawford to Blake Griffin. Oh, windmill with the right hand! Biggest lead of the game! Blake Griffin and Jamal Crawford. Let's see what happened here. Here they go, tangled up. Looks like... Griffin locks him up and then tries to pull him down. And then Zach falls over and he goes for the half Nelson. It's nice to do a lot of winning. It's nicer to be the winner. That's why I'm here. That's what I want to do. Try to win titles. For us, we have to prove that we can win a series first and, and then build from there. Blake Griffin to me is a superstar talent has to work on elements of his game in terms of his post game and he has to develop a more consistent outside shot i think he'll be even better i think he's box office i think he's a big time talent here we go again the lock again are you kidding me the kids are having fun the players are having fun and the broadcasters are having fun he deserves a lot of credit the los angeles clippers are challenging for the number one seed in the Western Conference. It is because of Blake Griffin. This dude has been on another level. Griffin one. Gets it back. Slam dunk! What a play over Humphrey! Walked into my poster! Wow. Out of nowhere! Got 29. 
JJ the other way, finding Griffin with a great feed from JJ Reddick. And Griffin's got 31. Disappointed. I feel like um, could have been a very different series. Just a couple small things. How guys handled handled themselves throughout this, this season and, and also the playoffs. Um, faced a lot of a lot of clutter. I love basketball. Yeah, There's just that. no sport as great as basketball. <laughs> this poetry, the speed, the decision making. I just love it. Yeah. I love it. And then for me to be involved is a heck of a lot of fun. Late Griffin will turn. She goes three for the win. This team has been a colossal disappointment. You're going to have to do something. Yep. They're not going to have much of a post-game presence in the fourth quarter, yep. obviously. Those perimeter players are going yep. to have to show up. 114 to 105. In the Griffin to the rim with the right hand high off the window. Oh, my goodness. Stripped on the way up, recovers, reorganizes, lays it up and in. <laughs> We've seen power and finesse from Blake Griffin. The pass by Paul was perfect. Oh, what a move. What a spin and what a dunk. Griffin on the run. He's looking. He's going. Griffin. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Griffin just putting on a show. Doesn't even need to look. Oh, the Clipper curse. Number one picks. Getting hurt. Not working out. Not making the playoffs. Not having winning seasons. No one talked about getting past the second round, um, but now that's what everybody talks about. We didn't, we didn't play well enough. The All-Star forward injured his calf on Friday in a 94-84 win over the Lakers. The team announced an MRI on Griffin's leg, revealed he suffered a partially torn quad tendon, and will be reevaluated in two weeks. You can't have an MVP caliber player uh, getting in this kind of a situation where he's keeping himself out of the lineup now for potentially weeks. I mean, this is one of the top players in the league who's not going to be able to play because of a silly off-court incident. Blake Griffin has never helped make his teammates better. He's got all kinds of knick-knack injuries, and to me, he has peaked. I don't think he'll ever get much better. The Clippers were dealing with two major injuries, Chris Paul's broken right hand and Blake Griffin aggravating a left quad injury that sidelined him for half the season. Doc Rivers saying it didn't look good for either player and that we'd know more tomorrow. Blake Griffin will be out at least until January after he has knee surgery. The surgery is reportedly minor and will sideline the Clippers forward for three to six weeks. Griffin missed one game on December 10th against the Pelicans because of knee soreness. JJ for three. Followed monster jam by Blake Griffin. What a follow. The flying lion. Soar again. Turnovers. They will run. Griffin. So that's pace. Those two points elevate Blake Griffin to career 10,000. 10,000 points for BG. Griffin at distance for three and the win. Bingo! Blake Griffin knocks down a three. The Clippers escape Pro City with a win. But Blake Griffin throws down a three ball. It's not because he's a scrub. He's a star. It's not because he can't play. He can play. But you could possibly get something better for the system that they employ than Blake Griffin himself. You would have to assume this means Blake's gone as well. If he chooses to re-sign with the Clippers, getting the kind of deal he can't get somewhere else, he is choosing to be on a severely compromised team now. Now, a team that hasn't been working and a team that we think had reached their ceiling. If you want to win, I don't know why you stay in L.A. You stay in L.A. because you like the town. You stay in L.A. because you want to be a star. You stay in L.A. because you want to have big stats. And Blake can put up big stats with him being the man. Mm. The man. Like Doc said, we have a lot of unfinished business here. This next chapter, this next season, for, for the Clippers and for myself, you know, I've never been more excited about um, an opportunity. Um, I'm looking forward to, to getting back out there. This injury and his reaction, I think, Casey, is probably the most alarming to me. As you can see, Lonzo Ball going for the loose ball, and Austin Rivers is the one that eventually trips and falls into Blake Griffin's knee. And even after they get rid of Chris Paul, they tell Blake Griffin, you are a clipper for life and turn around half a season later, he's dealt. Okay, fine. Business is business. He got to learn about it on Twitter. That is bad Clippers culture. The shock is, is a good way to put it. I didn't, didn't know anything. Um, I pretty much found out when everybody else found out. So 
um, yeah, it just kind of took a second to, to realize, okay, like everything's changing. Yeah, I felt very comfortable. Co Coach Van Gundy has been, been great. I mean, these guys have been great. My biggest thing is I don't want them to, to I don't want to take away anything that we do well already. Um, I want to come in and fill in, fill in the pieces and, um, um, you know, be there for us when we need us. There was a Blake Griffin play. You might as well play funeral music for Blake Griffin's career. Blake Griffin's got five to six more years, but his career officially ended last night. They're a ninth seed in the East. They're out of playoff contention. It's officially the end. Bounce top side to Blake Griffin. Turns, drives, lays it up. Lays it in. And he is fouled. 49 for Blake. And a 50-point night. That's the owner of the Clippers, Steve Ballmer. Looking to shake hands and exchange pleasantries with Blake Griffin. Five feet, seven rebounds, 42 points for that man as he backs in, he hooks, and he hits. 44 for Blake. The 2011 Tia NBA Rookie of the Year and Slam Dunk Champion. He's a six-time All-Star from the Detroit Pistons, Blake Griffin. Blake's trying to handle outside. Bumped by Ennis, turns, fires. He fills it! Blake Griffin with a triple with 2.6 seconds to play. But more importantly, look as he's running down the court here in his reaction. Don't know if it was on the landing of that dunk, but something clearly is not right with Blake. If you continue to get injured and you get older in this league, slowly but surely that athleticism will go away and it'll go away quicker if you don't take care of your body. Taking care of his body is key. Has to stay away from the knick-knack injuries. Now he's a guy that goes out to the three-point line. The Pistons star is considering knee surgery and it could end his season after he's played just 18 games. Griffin is expected to visit a specialist this week on his left knee. It's the same knee Griffin injured and played through last season. In their last five where he was under five points each. It is hard to figure. Blake over LeBron. He hits it! We've learned that any contract, any player is tradable. I think the Pistons are gonna have a really hard time trading Blake. But that said, it's a big number. So just the sheer math makes it very difficult. That one extra year Blake has makes a huge difference. Blake Griffin and the Pistons are parting ways. That's according to Woj, who says a number of teams are interested. And he mentioned the Nets, also the Heat, the Warriors, the Trailblazers. If you are the number one or the number two option, which he has been throughout his basketball career, sure. and suddenly you're not even a third option. Oh, by the way, because they got the most, they got lethal weapon three in Brooklyn. The fourth, Griffin on the move, flushes it down. There's the dunk. First basket as an end is his first dunk since December 12, 2019. Griffin gets the step. Oh, Blake Griffin, the smash. Three-point shots, some yams. Blake Griffin, one of those. I think he was looking for a foul here. Looked disinterested on defense during the rest of the season, but now. Oh, Blake Griffin hears it from the crowd. A vicious dunk by Griffin. Similarities in three-point shooting. Oh, Basketball fans in Detroit who saw Blake Griffin for, what, three and a half seasons asking, where did this come from? <laughs> now Harden with it, three seconds. Quick feed, Blake Griffin tried to bring down the house. No foul call, and that's how the first half will come to a close. Keep that coming, but like I said, that's not my decision. Um, you know, it's, it's, as players, it's our job to do whatever. You know, the coaches see, see best, so, um, you know, that, that's what